Hey, it's Chris here from Board Trout Fitters. Today we're going to tie the foam humpy. Now, normally this is tied in a more traditional way with deer hair folded over. We do actually have a video on our fly tying channel if you want to see that more classic approach. We're going to start with a size 10 dry fly hook. We're just going to dress it completely uh, and we're going to get ready to put on a tail here. Now, we are still going to use deer hair for the tail. I like to use a dark material. You could use moose mane or something like that. We've got a nice dark brown deer hair here. Good size clump. We're going to tie this in at the very back of the hook right before the bend and again one loose wrap and then tighter wraps with deer hair and I'm pinching it to make sure that it doesn't wrap around the hook shank. That'll give us a nice bushy little tail. Now I like to save as much of the deer hair to make the body taper as possible so you can notice I'm only clipping it off there at the end. I've loosely wrapped it over the hook now I'm going to cinch it down a little bit tighter. Now we're going to go to our floss. This is going to make a nice royal red body but you could use dubbing, you could use many different colors of flosses, you've got a lot of choices here. This is going to give us a nice slick body design though. So I'm just tying in that to floss. Now we're going to go to our two millimeter classic closed cell foam. Uh, I'm going with black here, but again, you could do a tan color if you wanted some variety. Now I'm going to tie that in again right at the back, but notice I'm also using that foam to build up the body. I'm not just clipping it off right where I tied it in, but I'm actually using it to get some bulk. Now I'm actually going to put a whip finish there because now we're just going to use the rotary vise. So we're going to wrap this floss up. If you are using floss, watch that hook point because it will clip it and it will make it fray all over the place. So just nice tight wraps and you can see how we get that clean, nice shine to that red body. So now we're going to go up about two thirds of the way up the hook. We're going to tie that off and we're going to clip that off. Now we're going to pull the foam over and I have cut this foam fairly thick because I want it to wrap around and kind of give a beetle like body profile. Humpies are excellent attractor patterns for terrestrial insects and we use them often as a beetle kind of uh, pattern. You can see the thickness of the body there. I'll clip that off and I'll, I'll lock down the remaining part of the foam there. Now we're going to build our wings. We're using parapost wings, very classic material. This is the water treated stuff that you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use one strand, I'm going to lock it in, and then I'm going to double it up for each wing. So I've got two strands, one for each wing. I'm going to lock them up and I actually find before I wrap the parachute post here that it's actually really helpful to tie off the thread. So this can be a little bit tricky. What I like to do is actually hold the post with my right hand. You can see I'm switching there and then use my left hand and just swing my bobbin around. You can't put too much pressure because it'll just fall off. You got to go nice and loose and just build up about two millimeters of post. Now I'm going to do the other post there and we're going to get that nice sort of wing facing 45 degrees off either side of the hook. Time to tie in our legs. I'm just using classic rubber legs here. I like the way they curve just in a dark color. This is a dark olive color. And again, I'm tying this all in between the foam but behind the parapost wings. Just a classic, simple uh, two strand rubber leg pattern there. I'm gonna make sure they're nice and even. And now we're good for that. So now we're going to do is finish up with a grizzly hackle. I'm using a fairly thick hackle here from a saddle because this is a size 10 hook, but of course you can size your hackle appropriately for the fly that you are tying. I'm going to use that and lock it down. Now I'm going to tie it just to the head of the eye. Now I do want to talk about this. This pattern, you got to be very careful that you don't tie too much stuff near the eye of the hook because you'll get a ramp and then everything slips off towards the end. So be careful with that. Now I'm just palmering that hackle forward. This is a really bushy pattern. So you can see we got a lot of hackle there. Again, don't crowd the eye. I'm going to whip finish it to tie it off. Just clean any of the little strands that got trapped. We basically have this done. We'll clip the rubber legs to the right length and of course we're also going to trim off those wings to be just above the hackle. Now you might find that you actually want to clip some of the hackle fibers at the bottom of the fly near the hook point. That just usually helps it sit in the water a little bit more even. That's totally up to you. I probably am going to trim it here but there you go. We've got ourselves a foam humpy. This is a great high floating nigh unsinkable fly and cutthroat trout love them as well as our resident rainbows. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember you can get all these materials at bowrivertroutfitters.com.